हाई हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम एवरी वन टू प्रिसन प्राइज एक्शन प्रो ट्रेडर सीरीज द टॉपिक फॉर टूडे इज द आर्ट ऑफ ब्लैंडिंग कैंडल्स वॉट डू यू मीन बाई ब्लैंडिंग वेन यू थिंक अबाउट कैंडल्स हाउ डू यू ब्लैंड कैंडल्स यू हैव मल्टीपल टाइम फ्रेम्स यू हैव वन मिनिट टाइम फ्रेम फाइव मिनिट टाइम फ्रेम फिफ्टीन मिनिट hourly daily weekly monthly yearly candles when you start assembling multiple candles together to get a higher time frame candle the process is called blending let's jump into the story friends what kind of a candle is this this is a proper drop candle correct a strong momentum drop candle all right now what kind of a candle is this this is a strong momentum bull candle why in both the cases the two bodies the total length is more than 50% of the total range correct now let's try to blend these two candles let's try to combine these two candles and try to get a bigger candle a higher time frame candle so how do we do that first things first take the open of the first candle this is the open of the first candle because the price opened here and closed here all right right second take the highest high of all the candles in this scenario you have only two candles so you take the highest high then take the lowest low of all the candles here this is the lowest low and finally take the close of the last candle here is the last candle the close is this when you merge these candles what will happen how do you merge them close open how did we do it i i framed a rectangle between close and open and thereafter on both directions i just do the wicks since the close is above open it is a momentum green candle correct i'm sorry that's not momentum that's a base candle why because the body is smaller correct sounds good so the outcome is a base candle why any idea that outcome is a base candle you have two bullish one is bearish momentum one is bullish momentum when you combine these two the outcome is a base candle why because it opened on the top and closed on the top it came down and closed on the top all right great so what is the rules for blending there are four simple rules for blending rule number 1 open of the first candle rule number 2 the close of the last candle rule number 3 the highest high of all the candles and finally the lowest low of all the candles sounds good great now let's get into the art of joining few candles Look at this friends it's a beautiful momentum candles three bullish momentum candles how do we do simple take the open of the first candle take the close of the last candle the highest high of all the candles and finally the lowest low of all the candles <laughs> the outcome is a big bull candle when multiple bull candles combined it becomes a mega bull candle second blackish remember in case of colored charts a green is called a bullish candle a red is called a bearish candle in case of black and white a white is called bullish black is called bearish remember this now here is the open of the first candle 
the close of the last candle the lowest low highest high how is the candlestick multiple bear candles combined to form a mega bear candle correct now let's see here they call it as a bullish engulfing and a hammer right here take the open of the first candle take the close of the last candle highest high lowest low can you see that when you merge two momentum candles the outcome is a base candle because it is a combination of a bear candle and a bull candle how about this bearish engulfing open of the first candle close of the last candle highest high lowest low when two candles which are momentum candles if they are opposite momentum candles like bull and bear combine each other the probability of achieving or getting a base candle is very high look at this open of the first candle close of the last candle highest high lowest low correct same process holds good everywhere open of the first candle the close of the last candle highest high lowest low and i told you this nomenclature or irrelevant you don't have to worry about it why we'll talk in the subsequent session now let us do one thing let us quickly jump into directly the charts and try to blend across multiple time frames all right this is a beautiful candle of nifty all right so what kind of a monthly candle you are seeing you are seeing a small chotu base candle right why because today is the first day of july all right take the previous candle let's do this i will quickly go into a daily time frame all right now this is the whole month of june if i have to blend these candles how do i do that can we apply the four ru four rules here all right let's try take the open of the first candle for the month of june here it starts June starts here and June ends here correct that whole region is June all right first things first open of the first candle the highest high of all the candles the lowest low of all the candles and the close of the last candle so can we merge all these things to get the monthly candlestick let's try all right so this is your open this is your high this is your low and this is your close since the open is on the top low is on the bottom it is a bearish candle and that's why i mention it as drop correct and if you look at it that one candle is the combination of all these candles blended together this is the science of blending let's do this let me take you directly into a weekly chart okay yeah so the 
look at this june has four candles 1 2 3 4 july candle why july candle is not appearing maybe could have come by now or maybe it will start tomorrow ideally the today's candle should have come there okay now let's do one thing let us do the merging of the last three months and get the quarterly candle that's a simple that's the right assignment for now first things first let me take a marker all right so friends start from april here is the beginning of april and end of june this is our range if you merge all this candle you will get the quarterly candle now let's repeat the whole process open up the first candle close of the last candle highest high of all lowest low of all what is the final quarterly candle that is your quarterly candle open on the upper side close on the lower side lowest low highest high what did you do you took the last 12 candles ideally and merged them to get the quarterly candle because every month as four every quarter will have roughly 12 to 13 candlesticks that is in a nutshell now let me go to the daily chart okay Our hourly chart of Nifty. This is see this. This is the month of July. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven candles. Why? Between nine fifteen and three thirty, there are about six hourly candles and one fifteen minute extra candle. We'll talk about it in future. For now, the same story holds good. So open up the first candle the close of the last candle highest high lowest low so can you imagine the final output that's your final candle what color of the candle it is if you take the daily candle what color it is today can anybody guess try to guess it today's candle what color that's a daily candle it's a base candle it is a green candle does color matter in bases no all right sounds good let us come back to our presentation with this we successfully come to the end of the blending of candle story i'll come back to you with yet another interesting session in my subsequent videos until then signing off ashok devanampriya from traders gurukul thank you